Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the error message Windows could not find the driver for your network adapter in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to enable the adapter. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type ncpa.cpl and select it as a control panel item from the search results. Now in here, simply right click on your network adapter and then select the enable option. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to use the Windows Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select settings from the list of icons. And now in here, click on system on the left pane. And then on the right side, scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on other troubleshooters. And the last thing you have to do in here is click on the run button next to network and internet. From here on, Windows will try to assist you with fixing the problem and even find if there's any other problems with your PC. And you can just check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to update the network driver. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Network Adapters. Then right click your network adapter and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers for your PC. Now after installing them, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to roll back Windows to a restore point. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search result. In here, click on Next, then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred, and once again, click on Next, and lastly, click on Finish to start the restoration procedure. Afterwards, wait a bit because this can take a bit of time, then you'll see that your computer will restart, and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching!